The College of Engineering of the University of the Philippines Diliman is the largest degree-granting unit in the UP system in terms of student population. The college is also known formally as UP Co, Co, and informally as Engig pronounced Eng. The College of Engineering is composed of eight, eight departments, six of which are housed in the historic Melcher Hall along Osmeña Avenue in the UP Diliman campus. The Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute has its own building along Velázquez Street in the Diliman Science Complex and Technology Incubation Park, while the Department of Computer Science along with the College Library moved into their own buildings near the EEEI building in early 2007. Since its establishment, the college has produced 2020 graduates with UP. Summa Cum Laude Honors. The Co. produced its first summa cum laude graduates in 1920 Justo Arastia, B.S.C.E., and Tomas Padilla Abello, B.S.M.E., and the most recent was in 2015. The college is the College of Engineering in the Philippines with the most CHED centers of excellence at 11, 11. All of its degree-granting departments have been recognized as a center of excellence. Topic. History The University of the Philippines was founded on June 18, 1908. The College of Engineering is the fifth college unit to be established. The University's Board of Regents BOR, in a resolution passed on June 3, 1910, appointed Mr. W. J. Colbert as acting dean of the college. His appointment was set to effect on June 13, 1910 thereby creating the College of Engineering. The classes were held at a two-story building, the O'Brien Residence, at the corner of Isaac Peril now United Nations Avenue and Florida now Maria y Orosa streets in Ermita, Manila. The O'Brien House was formally turned over to the college in September, 1910, and became known as the College of Engineering. Later on, as the engineering building and shops were constructed along the Florida side of the UP campus in Ermita, that building became the home economics building of the College of Education. The plans for the construction of a three-story reinforced concrete engineering building were drafted starting 1927, for which P210,000 was appropriated. The design of the building was under the supervision and guidance of Dean Hyde. Criteria for earthquake resistance were incorporated in the design. It was of simple architecture with a portico at the front facing Florida Street. The contract for the construction was awarded in October 22, 1929. The building was occupied in May 1930. Then the tides of war in the Pacific came in December 1941 and thereby interrupted the normal operations of the college. When the Japanese forces entered Manila in January 1942, they occupied the college buildings. It was in January 1943 that classes were resumed. During the war years, engineering classes were conducted in the pharmacy building on Heron now Pedro Gil, Street. Offices of the faculty members were in the shacks behind the College of Medicine building. Once more classes were interrupted. The Battle of Manila practically demolished all the university buildings in the Padre Fora campus which had been occupied by the Japanese army forces. The college and few other units of the university reopened in August 1945 under very trying conditions on account of the destruction of the engineering building, shops and laboratories. Classes were held at the Cancer Institute building facing Padre Fora Street. The task of rehabilitating the college started immediately after. Repair work of the engineering building along Calle Florida was started in 1946, and was reoccupied in August 1946. In the new Diliman campus, despite the fact that most students commuted from Manila at that time via España, Sta. Mesa and Katipunan Road, the enrollment in the university steadily increased. The university, however, started the huge construction program of college building, laboratories, dormitories and other facilities. The construction of the engineering building on the north side of the campus was begun in 1949 along with other buildings. In 1951 the college moved into the new four-story building along Osmeña Avenue, a mirror image of the liberal arts building across the wide, dampy university quadrangle. 
During the 1963 UP Alumni Engineers Homecoming, the engineering building was named Melcher Hall in honor of the late Colonel Alejandro Melcher. He was an engineering alumnus, former member of the engineering faculty and the UP. Board of Regents, Secretary of National Defense in the Philippine Cabinet in exile during World War II, and a researcher whose studies on pontoon bridges contributed significantly in winning the war for the Allied forces. Dedication ceremonies were held and a plaque was unveiled at the portico of the edifice with President Romulo as guest speaker and the family of Alejandro Melcher present. Topic. Melcher Hall Melcher Hall, the current main building of the University of the Philippines Diliman College of Engineering is the work of architect Cesar Concio. His other notable other works are the Church of the Risen Lord inside the UP campus, the Palma Hall College of Social Sciences and Philosophy Building, the Insular Life Building and the Children's Hospital, among others, the building is heavily influenced by the Bauhaus School of Design and the challenge of building design without frills. It is a long horizontal, five-story reinforced concrete building designed in planar forms tempered with Filipino design expression. Internal spaces flow rather than being rigidly boxed. Melcher Hall is a symmetrical structure which is divided into two wings by an imposing central section. This large rectangular three-story high portal serves as the main entrance of the building. An equally imposing concrete stairway terminates at the portal, flanked by two plain columns that soar three stories high. Each wing of the structure features continuous open balconies on each floor which serve as single loaded corridors to the classrooms. The architectural design creates well-ventilated, naturally lighted classrooms. Stairs that service the five floors are wide with comfortable treads and risers. Structural members are in all honesty defined on both the exterior and interior of the building. There is a grid of discrete sun baffles at the west side of the entrance hall. Topic. Academic departments Topic. Department of Chemical Engineering The Department of Chemical Engineering DCHE, offers undergraduate and graduate programs leading to the degree of chemical engineering. The department was established in 1956, and has an overall 90% passing rate in the licensure examinations held in the Philippines. Furthermore, the department contributes about 10% to 60% of the total number of new chemical engineers in the Philippines every year. The department offers the following degrees Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, BSJ. Five-year program leading to the understanding of transport processes, chemical engineering thermodynamics and their applications to unit operations design, thermodynamics and reaction kinetics. Master of Science in Chemical Engineering, MSJ. 24-unit coursework that includes core and elective courses related to chemical engineering and six units of master's thesis. Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering, Ph.D. Che. Topic: Institute of Civil Engineering. The Institute of Civil Engineering (ICE) offers undergraduate and graduate programs leading to the degree of civil engineering. The oldest of the college's departments, the institute was established as a department in 1910. In 1915, the first graduates of civil engineering were produced. In 2008, the department was elevated into an institute, when its student population gradually expanded. Civil engineering graduates from the college represents only 1 to 2 percent of civil engineering output of the Philippines each year. The institute offers the following degrees. Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, BSCE. Five-year program leading to the understanding of several areas of civil engineering including construction engineering and management, environmental and energy engineering, geotechnical engineering, transportation engineering, structural engineering and water resources engineering. Master of Science in Civil Engineering, MSCE. 
The department offers several master's degree in the following fields, MSCE in Geotechnical Engineering, MSCE in Structural Engineering, MSCE in Transportation Engineering, MSCE in Water Resources Engineering Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering PhDCE. The department offers several doctor's degree in the following fields, PhDCE in Geotechnical Engineering, PhDCE in Structural Engineering, PhDCE in Transportation Engineering, PhDCE in Water Resources Engineering. Topic. Department of Computer Science The Department of Computer Science DCS, offers undergraduate and graduate programs leading to the degree of computer science. The department started way back in the 1970s when the now defunct Department of Engineering Sciences, Department of Electrical Engineering both in the College of Engineering and Department of Mathematics of the College of Science instituted the Master of Engineering in Computer Science Hmong CS program. The suspension of Hmong CS in the 1980s led to the creation of the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science program. In 1988, the Board of Regents approved the creation of the Department of Engineering and Computer Sciences In 1991, however, DECS was split into the Department of Engineering Sciences and the Department of Computer Science. The department offers the following programs Bachelor of Science in Computer Science BSCS Four-year program that leads to the understanding of algorithms and data structures, programming languages, computer architecture, numerical and symbolic computations, operating systems, software development methodology and engineering, database and information retrieval and artificial intelligence. Master of Science in Computer Science Several coursework that leads to the full understanding of operating, intelligent, database, information and application systems, and computer networks and distributed systems. Topic. Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute The Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute EEEI, offers three undergraduate programs leading to the degree of Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communications Engineering and Computer Engineering exclusively. The Institute started as the Department of Electrical Engineering and was renamed Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering in 1994. In 2001, the department transferred to its current location along Velasquez Street from its former building at German Yia Hall, beside Melcher Hall. In 2008, the department was elevated into an institute. The institute offers the following degrees. Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, B.S. Co. Five-year program leading to the understanding of computer engineering, including digital designs, operating systems, sequential logic synthesis, CPU design, computer networks and computer systems engineering. Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, BSEE. Five-year program leading to the understanding of electrical engineering, including electrical equipment and devices, electric machines, power electronics, electric power distribution systems and electrical system design. Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering, BSECE. Five-year program leading to the understanding of electronics and communications engineering, including digital communications, instrumentation electronics, communication electronics and wired communications. Master of Engineering in Electrical Engineering MEE. Master of Science in Electrical Engineering MSEE. Doctorate in Engineering in Electrical Engineering DEE. Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering PhDEE Topic Department of Geodetic Engineering The Department of Geodetic Engineering DGE offers undergraduate and graduate programs leading to the degree of geodetic engineering 
The department was established in 1937 while its research and extension arm, Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry TCAGP, was created in 1964. The department offers the following programs Bachelor of Science in Geodetic Engineering, BSGE Five year program leading to the understanding of geodetic engineering, including surveying, mapping, remote sensing, photogrammetry, and global positioning systems, law of contracts, Torrens registration system, Philippine laws on mining and natural resources, and land registration law. Master of Science in Geomatics Engineering, BSGME. The department offers several master's degree in the following fields, MSGME in Applied Geodesy, MSGME in Geoinformatics, MSGME in Remote Sensing. Topic. Department of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research The Department of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research DIOR, offers undergraduate and graduate programs leading to the degree of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research. The degree program of Industrial Engineering started in 1965 when the Department of Mechanical Engineering offered students to pursue the career. In 1971, the Department of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research became a separate unit of the college. For more information on the department, visit its site at http colon slash slash slash. The department offers the following degrees. Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering, BSIE. Five-year program that leads to the understanding of industrial engineering, design, improvement and installation of integrated systems of people, materials, equipment and energy, production systems, operations research, human factors and ergonomics and information systems. Diploma in Industrial Engineering. Provides intensive industrial engineering graduates of other fields of science. Master of Science in Industrial Engineering, MSIE. Topic. Department of Mechanical Engineering The Department of Mechanical Engineering's mission is to consistently produce top-quality mechanical engineering graduates, continually develop new knowledge and undertake progressive research and development that will contribute to the industrial development of the nation, and provide technical expertise to industry and strengthen linkages and partnerships with other institutions. You can get a general information on our Dean's Office for more information or visit the official website at http colon slash slash mech dot ang dot upd dot edu dot ph slash the department offers the following programs Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering BS -ME. The major courses in the current five-year program includes foundation courses in thermal sciences, metrology, kinematics and mechanisms, machine design, manufacturing, and control, as well as specialized courses in internal combustion engines, turbomachinery, power, and heating ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration HVACR. 1. Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering MSME, provides advanced training in the methods, tools and techniques of mechanical engineering. Topic. Department of Mining, Metallurgical and Materials Engineering Mining engineering includes all the aspects of the extraction of mineral products and energy sources from the Earth's crust. The mining engineer is concerned not only with excavation and working of deposits but also with economic analysis, optimization of operations, and environmental and human aspects of exploration. Metallurgy is the science and art of extracting, refining, and adapting metals from minerals and metal-bearing materials, at a profit, for human use. Materials are traditionally classified as metals, polymers, and ceramics. This field of engineering specializes on determining the relationship between the structure and the properties of these materials. The department traces its roots to the time it first offered the BS Mining Engineering Program, one of the earliest Bachelor of Science degree courses offered by the UP College of Engineering. 
In 1956 a metallurgical engineering undergraduate course was added to what was then the Department of Mining Engineering. Since then the department has offered three undergraduate programs, B.S. Mining Engineering, B.S. Metallurgical Engineering, and since first semester I-1999-2000, B.S. Materials Engineering. It also offers the following graduate programs, M.S. in Metallurgical Engineering, and both M.S. and Ph.D. in Materials Science and Engineering jointly offered with the UP College of Science. The medium of instruction for all major courses is in English. The current MMME teaching roster is composed of 12 full-time and 4 part-time faculty, 2 lecturers, 1 adjunct professor and 1 professor emeritus. Among the full-time faculty, three of the twelve are Ph.D. holders, four have M.S. degrees and the rest are working to complete their M.S. studies. The laboratories are maintained with the help of three laboratory technicians. The MMME department offers the following services to private industry, among others, consultancy services, special in-house training in materials science and special topics in metallurgical engineering, assorted testing services involving materials characterization and analysis, pilot plant testing in mineral processing, failure analysis, and mining designs. The UP MMME Department is a CHED Center of Excellence in Metallurgical Engineering and Center of Development Category 1 in Mining Engineering. Topic. Summary Topic. National Centers of Excellence – Development As of 2001, the Commission on Higher Education of the Philippines has identified 32 Centers of Excellence, Development CODs, in University of the Philippines Diliman, 11, 11 of which can be found in the College of Engineering. See all UP. Diliman Centers of Excellence, Development. Ten of the eleven COS, CODs are undergraduate programs in the college, while the eleventh Information Technology Education can be considered to be shared between the college's Department of Computer Science and the UP Information Technology Training Center. The University of the Philippines Diliman has no program named Information Technology, unlike other Philippine universities. The COS, CODs in the college are as follows. Chemical Engineering Civil Engineering Computer Engineering Electrical Engineering Electronics and Communications Engineering Industrial Engineering Geodetic Engineering Information Technology Education Mechanical Engineering Metallurgical Engineering Mining Engineering Topic. National Engineering Center The National Engineering Center NEC is a related yet independent unit of the College of Engineering. The NEC is under the jurisdiction of the University of the Philippines system and provides research, consultancy, and continuing education services in the engineering and related fields. Whilst the UP Co. is a unit purely dedicated to academic pursuit, the NEC serves industry and government institutions in need of engineering solutions. The NEC is housed within the Alfredo Juinio Hall, formerly the National Engineering Center Building, located beside UPCOE's Melcher Hall along Osmeña Avenue. As of 2006, the College of Engineering Dean, Dr. Rowena Cristina Guevara, also serves as the center's executive director. Topic. Centers Five centers formerly within the College of Engineering are now in the jurisdiction of the NEC. However, some of these units still classify themselves as falling under the CO-NEC umbrella. This should not come as a surprise, as many NEC employees are also UP. Co-professors and instructors. Building Research Service, BRS. National Center for Transportation Studies NCTS, formerly the Transport Training Center National Hydraulic Research Center NHRC 
Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry TCAGP UP Industrial Research Service Center Topic Course Offerings Professional Engineering Training Division Engineering Enhancement Program Topic College of Engineering Libraries The Libraries of the College of Engineering is the repository of books, dissertations, databases, multimedia resources, journals, magazines, and student and faculty researches related to the engineering disciplines being offered by the college. The co-library envisions itself as the Philippines National Engineering Library and Information Center in the future. As of 2006, the library is located in Melcher Hall along Osmeña Avenue, and is divided into two floors. The relatively cramped space of the library will be alleviated once part of it transfers to the new Engineering Library and Computer Science ELCS building, where it is slated to occupy the entire lower two floor levels. The co-library is an integral part of the University Library's Online Public Access Catalog OPAC. The library is also part of the Filipina Lib Electronic Library Project. See also, the College of Engineering Library website. Topic. College publications Topic. The Engineering Logscript The official student publication of the college, the Engineering Logscript or simply Logscript, is the oldest college-based student publication in Updilliman, having been established in the 1969-1970 academic year. This makes the Logscript older than the UP. College of Mass Communications Plaridel. Funding for the publication comes from the Shared Logscript, Engineering Student Council ESC, fee paid by students every semester. Unlike other college-based student publications in the university, the Logscript does not have an assigned formal office. Though the publication's logo and or masthead varies with every change of the editorial board, the College of Engineering sundial or a semblance of it is always incorporated into the design. The sundial is a university landmark erected by the UP alumni engineers. Topic. The Sundial The Sundial is the official newsletter of the UP Alumni Engineers. Carrying the motto, The time of day it reckons, UP. Engineers it beckons. The Sundial's first issue came out on October 25, 2004. Like the logscript, the Sundial has the university landmark of the same name as its emblem. See also, Sundial Electronic Issues. Topic. The UP. Parser. The UP. Parser is the official student publication of the Department of Computer Science. Founded in 1999, Parser, as it is commonly known, is the oldest department-based publication in the College of Engineering. After a few years of inactivity, Parser was revived in 2004, appearing in four different versions, the print circulation, a website, an email newsletter, and a bulletin board version. In the academic year 2005-2006, Parser reached a milestone by releasing two full-color, tabloid-sized editions, a feat rare for department-based publications. The newspaper takes its name from the Parser of Computer Science. Its motto is Analyzing life the CS way. Topic. The reactor. The reactor is the official newsletter of the Department of Chemical Engineering. Topic. Currents. Currents is the official student publication of the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. 
After a few years of inactivity, the publication was revived in the academic year 2005-2006. It became inactive once again between 2005 to 2013, before being revived again in 2013. Topic. What's Happenungig? What's Happenungig is the official newsletter of the Engineering Student Council ESC, and comes in booklet format. The publication's name is the combination of the phrase, What's Happening? and the college's nickname, Engig. Topic. College deans W. J. Colbert, 1910-1911, Acting Dean Lawrence E. Griffin, 1911-1912, Acting Dean Clarence G. Rentmore, 1912-1919 Herman W. Reynolds, 1919-1926 Edward R. Hyde, 1926-1940 Vidal A. Tan, 1940-1949 Juan L. Tiangson, 1949-1953 Crisostomo A. Ortigas, 1953-1960 Oscar Baggio, 1960-1970 Alfredo L. Juinio, 1970-1979 Marino M. Mina, 1979-1985 Ruben A. Garcia, 1985-1991 Francisco L. Vire, 1991-1993 Reynaldo B. Vea, 1993-1997 Edgardo G. Atanasio, 1997-2004 Rowena Cristina L. Guevara, 2004-2010 Ora C. Matias, 2010-2016 Rizalinda L. De Leon, 2016-present, notes